Coffee uh, network has been very high in early 90s or early 70s, I can say. But to this far, we have cocoa coming in, we have vanilla also coming in. And coffee, only certain clusters, I, I should say less than 10, they are working with CIC to give that fire burning of Robusta in ECP. For uh, intervention of the PPA program, I can show some change that after some launchings that we've made throughout this program, people tend to begin and realize the importance of coffee, as it is an industry that can bring uh, finance into their house households. So they began to embrace the project and they started requesting us to give them seedlings and they want to come into this project also. Before the time of Papa and Mama, I was able to sell coffee and get some good money. So I came now and PPAP and CIC came inside and we all give him school and we plan and we plan to have a lot I make him coffee, I make him sell him. I make him money, I make him a mask. Planting me plow, place mama. I play in a savel or look out to me play yet, as all time all this, something come inside now. Coffee, I kiss him. Some of the big place have come all them. I play line him look out to coffee. At the same time, I play line him look out to me play yet. I play kiss him all. Side to health hygiene studies, school. Look out to me play yet, Mary Piccinini or family, the whole family. I get good place, I get stop good place living, and me place. Kiss them all, some place good place schools. Side place look out the coffee, na look out the man want them. PPAP or Productive Partnerships through Agriculture Projects is a coffee industry corporation project under the Department of Agriculture and Livestock. The coffee rehabilitation activities are financed by a loan facility from the World Bank and IFAD or International Fund for Agricultural Development with support funding from Government of Papua New Guinea. The development objective of CIC PPAP is to improve the livelihoods of smallholder coffee producers who are supported by the project through the improvement of performance and sustainability of value chains in coffee producing areas. Over these eight years, through this modality, the farmers themselves have expressed great satisfaction that they are now for the first time seeing the real value of coffee extension. We, we realize also that under PPAP program we have tried out some of the approaches. One of them is the extension services delivery. And uh, we realize it's very effective, it's transparent, and it's deliverable. And this is very important. Uh, we realize that extension services directly deals with the farmers on the ground. The coffee rehabilitation project has been implemented under three components. Component one is providing industry coordination and policy development to improve the performance of sector institutions in the coffee sector. Component two is developing productive partnerships in the public-private alliances in project areas with a goal of improving productivity and market linkage. And component three is improving market access for smallholder coffee growers in the target areas or provinces. In component two, productive partnerships, the project also supports social development such as HIV and AIDS, household resource management, gender, personal viability training, and other cross-cutting issues faced by the smallholder coffee farmers. 
Pas pula terani, kami pula terani lahau pula pikim kopi, katim kopi, okay second em hau pula sebi moni, okay nampak teri em hau pula kami pula mama saya kap del, tapi kami pula kari mol baby, kami pula sapi di mol baby, em nampak teri, em mol terani, kami pula saksi silam teri pula terani. The reason behind the inclusion of CCI gender derives from the main findings and recommendations relating to the coffee sector from a joint World Bank IFC report titled The Fruit of Her Labor, promoting gender equitable agribusiness in Papua New Guinea. The main findings or analysis in this particular report are Women are key contributors to producing quality coffee beans. They play an important role in time, undertaking critical and quality relevant tasks in the coffee production process. Plenty time we play all mama stuff, got them big play at work inside the coffee, but uh, less benefit. Plenty work and a less benefit. This la now I'm putting more role blah blah or interest to me play look come up in growing coffee and uh, all this plus something it go down and uh, low, but time all PPAP only come inside and uh, connect one time we plan uh, all building. Feelings for me to grow in coffee because change me come inside your life for me to one one farmers. It's the training where me to even attending. I must say man marry me to come one time. Now man, I'm look savvy lo mistake blame. Some blame man all cry or talk sorry lo marry. Now I'll go send it in passing. Now me to mama too. Me to have mama's. Now me to even join him hand. Now go boom one time. Me to change them. Me to all mama. I can look at the money for coffee. Now I'm going to directly buy it for my old mama. This is now I'm making my mama one of the big chains. Also, I can count the coffee money because I can get the coffee money directly to it. The labor dynamics affect outcomes in the sector. More labor is allocated by the coffee farmers for social purposes and labor shortage continue to exist especially at critical stages in coffee production or processing. Labor constraints are quite obvious when considering the gender imbalance practiced at the farm level. There's no clear example of uh, women participation like I'm mentioning, but I'd like to also say that most of the activities of picking and everything else is done by women. So uh, while they're not coming on the front line to show us that they're involved because of traditional uh, you know, behaviors, uh, we in PNC, most of the coffee work is done by women. Look, I'm going to believe me, okay, no, Sam. I'm going to click line, that's all, and I'm going to stop I go inside the garden street, and I go inside the garden and go to Dubai, and I go to the garden. I go to the garden, and I go to the garden, and I go to the garden, and I go to the garden. I go inside the garden, and I go to the garden. I go to the garden, and I go to the street. I go to the coffee walk, and I go to the garden, and I go to the garden, and I go to the garden. I go to the garden, and I go to the garden, and I go to the garden. I go to the garden, and I go to the garden. I go to the garden, and I go to the garden, and I go to the garden. Usat kam pasé, mi pla wok wante mi gona, isi si mi kim kam kam na. Tay moli lo kim woki kam abuti em, ol kam so mi lo kim wan pla change tu em kam ab. The critical enablers are lacking in the provision of services provided, including inputs, extension, training and finance, which are limited and lowly targeted. Specific tasks and needs 
are inadequately included into the design and delivery of extension and training services. As a holistic approach, training is also provided with appropriate tools and equipments to our farmers who then use them to implement those trainings to produce good quality coffee and encourage the farmers into group marketing so that they begin to not only produce and just become sellers, they, they also produce and they also master their own marketing by group marketing. The coffee MSA, MSA was helping me one time all picking in and a man blew me lo panim soap na school fee na when I'm heavy I'm come lo yumi em em sa help me yumi coffee The economic potential of the coffee sector is not fully understood by smallholder coffee farmers. Coffee is a seasonal crop and the earnings follow the same trend. Therefore, the coffee farmers often see coffee as a mechanism to facilitate their livelihood and not as an enterprise or a business entity to seek maximum output with greater monetary returns. coffee, <laughs> I will buy him 400, 500, so only must I like give him. So me plus I use him stone paper or machine him coffee. Now me plus I pour my pim again, carry me go pine water go long way. Now me plus I go wash him coffee, put him on string below. Carry him come back big, plus I talk through. Me plus my mama say kiss him. In most instances, women and children are heavily involved in all the coffee-related work, while the father ends up with the coffee bags at the market. The proceeds from the coffee sales often get misused by this individual and the rest of the family members miss out on the returns. A behavioral change is needed by the smallholder coffee farmers to basically revamp this alien coffee industry because the future of coffee industry lays in the hands of the smallholder coffee sector. Under the PPAP model, we don't only talk about coffee tree and market access, we talk about total inclusion, about social aspect. Gender, personal viability training, HIV and AIDS, and financial literacy trainings are facilitated as a means to basically address these fundamental issues at hand. The personal viability training and financial literacy is geared towards training and educating farmers on savings culture as a means to improve their livelihoods. This initially begins at the household level where the gender training comes in play. We will see the fruit of our labor that has been put into the coffee rehabilitation program in the year 2021. Because the coffee takes three years. From our existing 997,602 trees, we planted 117,000 so far. So by year 2021, we will have an additional income of almost 1.4 million kina on existing money we used to earn. So, this is big money for a population of 1,700 people in this area. The statistics now appearing on the screen are the success or achievements attained to date. CIC, PPAP, is advocating for stronger and positive role for women in coffee. This project came inside and helped me play good. I asked that I play good, I play hard, I play certificate, I play good, 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 I
work of him, me plus I had to work nothing, and Sarem cross to cross to him. You know, helping me plan, me plus I am wrong, was his same or same, and by helping me plus. Me starting all Arab la legally called business business legally. Okay. Me gonna am just like training me to say me and make him tinting blow me and op. Op so by me go back in now, me by. Start to straight him or something where me drop him little, little time pass all. Okay, by me straight him good can I and if I kick off one time all this block something where me been starting penis as and look out him kakaruk. Na some la or Arab la something too. Under the gender training, it anticipates to bring women together to build the capacity so that they intend will see themselves as important economic contributors. In the diversification project, we have introduced honey, honeybee to be in the coffee gardens. Women groups are now becoming involved in honeybee because that's the easiest. It's not labor intensive to look after honey, but the money coming out from honeybee is even higher than the income from coffee per kilo basis. It has been men's domain and in this gender and all this process in diversification we encourage women and women have taken some women groups in lead, some certain lead partners have taken responsibilities in the honeybee growing in the in the areas the rationale is to increase access for women to acquire training in agriculture or coffee management and also support in developing planning and decision making skills. And all different different training him, me plus a holy no here long. Help him think thing blong all farmers, all growers. Long think thing blong all you know can look him coffee or some um the white as all na only walk him tas all long, kiss a little money in a dislabat. Only must look him coffee beyond because coffee divide and platic him on a talking mall or some me. Dewai money na the way got life. Na time on holim. Good, now make him good through. and can send him life from all. The saving culture has been missing for years in this area. Not only here, but the surrounding place and maybe the whole of the Daulo district. People now will have a place to save their money. Instead of having their money in the pocket and easily spend it, they now have the bank's agency here to deposit the money. They opened 168 accounts, a total of Approximately 5,600 kina has been saved. No withdrawal has been done. People are building their own funds in, in their savings for future use. So it is, a, it is very encouraging to see no, none of them coming for a withdrawal, asking for a withdrawal. There is a savings culture coming in. Hopefully this place, this population will have money uh, to spend for essential needs in due time in, in future. The project is all about improving the livelihood of the coffee farmers who are involved in the project. And therefore, the training is going into how they look after their money, budget for their money well, so that it can, they can get them for the rainy days, for the school fees, in the, in the future expenses, medical fees, and other necessities for life. The World Bank, IFAD, and Government of Papua New Guinea funded coffee rehabilitation project is embracing women's contribution to the coffee industry in Papua New Guinea, not only at the farmer's level, but also in decision making at the household level. Beginning a man, me place ago, boom one time I pick coffee, come put it on machine, now washing, now dry now. Time me play carimbo, I give him cooperative now. Me play salim, this la coffee go now. And man, me play kissing, me play family place, I come see now, I broke him now. I'm all soft, I'm all clothes, and I'm school fee, I'm all picking in my place, I put him all the time, I'm all go back in the school place, I'm school fee, I'm all picking in it. Okay, go fee, I'm all in the bank, I'm all in the bank, so, I'm all in the salim, I'm all in the money, I'm all in the bank, I'm all in the bank, I'm all in the bank, I'm all in the bank.